Hello and welcome to our new video. This time we'll check Karcher's steam cleaners, the SC2, 3, 4, and 5. If you want to know how they perform in a direct comparison, just stay tuned. You'll find out everything you need to know. Let's start with Karcher's SC steam cleaners, the SC2, 3, 4, and 5. What the appliances from Karcher's flagship series probably have in common is that they are difficult to tell apart. Therefore, it is not always that easy to choose the right appliance. To make it a little bit easier to understand, let's start with what the steam cleaners have in common. First of all, the SC appliances are not purely handheld floor cleaners, as is the case with the Lifite Clean Tenso or the Veleda Steam, for example. Instead, Karcher's SC steam cleaners are designed as all-rounders, which are not only for cleaning sealed and heat-resistant hard floors, but also cover a few more areas of application such as joints, windows, sinks, and so on. Sadly, none of the SC appliances include a carpet glider. What they do have, though, are two nozzles on the base, which, in combination with Karcher's Lamella technology, are designed to distribute the steam evenly and kill 99.99% of bacteria. Other features that the appliances have in common are an accessory storage on the main unit, a parking position for the handle, and a child safety lock on the pistol. Otherwise, it can be said that the appliances become more powerful in terms of performance, steam pressure, and tank volume as the numbering increases. There are also more and more smaller features, such as the cable compartment from the SC4 onwards, or the Vapo Hydro hot water function on the SC5 for very demanding cleaning areas. In terms of features and technology, the SC5 clearly sets itself apart from the others, not least because of this function. There are also other small improvements, such as the four-level steam control and the significantly longer cable. So much for the general overview. By the way, if you want to find out more about the steam cleaners, then take a look at the description below the video. There you will find our individual reviews, as well as all the other links. Now let's come to our hands on impressions. We see yet another similarity, namely in terms of the assembly. At this point, I would like to show you how the SC devices 2 to 5 are mounted. And I can show you this quite simply on one and the same appliance because there's really no real difference here. Karcher uses its easy fix system, and this is identical across all appliances. And it doesn't matter whether you simply connect the gun directly to the floor attachment or use one or two extensions. You decide depending on your intended use. All you need now is the microfiber cloth, which you simply place on the floor with the slightly coarser side. Then hold the base of the device. It has these hook and loop fasteners, and I simply place them on the mop, press it down properly, and everything is assembled. The other attachments and accessories can also be used with the EasyFix system, making it pretty easy to switch between the individual areas of application. The fact that the weight of the individual appliances increases with the numbering is rather negligible. As you pull the appliances behind you on rolls and do not push them in front of you, as with the steam mops, this is hardly an issue. The heat up time, on the other hand, can be a little annoying and there are actually major differences between the appliances here. The clear winner among the SC appliances is the SC3 with a heat up time of 30 seconds. With the others, on the other hand, you have to wait a few minutes before you can get started. Incidentally, the SC3 should not be confused with the SC3 upright handheld steam mop. Karcher probably chose this name because the two appliances share some technical specifications, such as the 30-second heat-up time and the descaling concept. In terms of the cleaning performance on hard floors, the individual appliances are in no way inferior to each other. The steam is distributed evenly in the base thanks to the lamella technology, which coats the floor well in the end. Soiling can be removed pretty easy as usual, and even stubborn stains can be removed. Leave the foot on there for a short time, soak the stain, and it's done. However, the Vapo Hydro function on the SC5 deserves a special mention. The other appliances don't have this, and if you want to do a really wet wipe, this is a really helpful feature. The SC5 also stands out a little when cleaning windows. Basically, this works very well with all SC appliances, but with the SC5, the steam regulation can be adjusted a little more precisely. This allows you to control the amount of steam or water on the window a little better. All appliances performed equally well when cleaning joints. In our opinion, there were no noticeable differences here. However, there were differences when working with the jet nozzle. We felt that the SC5 was the most powerful appliance here. But in our opinion, 
it did not stand out enough from the smaller SC models. We couldn't even make out any significant difference between the SC3 and SC4. As the devices become more and more expensive as the numbering increases, we would have liked to have seen a clearer differentiation here. The bottom line is that the SC3 wins the race in terms of operation and use. It is simply the most balanced device and also has the shortest heat up time. However, we would also like to highlight the vapo hydro function of the SC5 at this point. This is particularly useful if you have a demanding cleaning area. And as a reminder, you can find the links to the individual reviews and to the products below the video in the description. And if the video was helpful to you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. When it comes to storage, the SC appliances don't have too much in common. The base can be locked into the parking position, and there is an accessory storage compartment on the appliances. That's it. From the SC4 upwards, there is also a cable compartment, and the SC5 has the useful feature that the steam tube is detachable. This allows it to be stored in a particularly space-saving manner. Unfortunately, only the SC3 has a proper descaling concept and already includes one descaling cartridge. The appliance even reminds you to change the cartridge through an indicator light. With the other appliances, you unfortunately have to prevent the buildup of limescale yourself or carry out the descaling manually. Nevertheless, the SC5 comes with a packet of descaling powder. Apart from that, the basic accessories are basically the same for all SC appliances. In addition to the extensions and the standard attachment, there is also the pad, the hand nozzle including microfiber cover, the jet nozzle, and the small round brush. In terms of storage, maintenance, and accessories, the SC3 comes out on top. The integrated descaling concept is convenient and contributes to a long service life of the steam cleaner. In the end, however, the SC5 wins the race among the SC appliances. Its better features, including the Vapo Hydro function, allow it to tackle even difficult cleaning tasks better. However, if the cleaning area is more moderate, the SC3 is a much cheaper and similarly powerful alternative. So, we've checked out these steam cleaners for you. If there's a product that you like in particular, check the video description below. You'll find all the links there, including our individual reviews, of course. Otherwise, just stay tuned. Our end card will provide a few interesting video suggestions for you.